Friends, now let us discuss about full wave rectifier circuits. So, when you see the full wave rectifier, uh, we are having two diodes and a center drive transformer. This is called center drive full wave rectifier. Another full wave rectifier is that is the bridge rectifier. I will discuss in the next session. Here, uh, when you are using half wave rectifier, in half wave rectifier only the positive half you are using and negative half is clipped. And negative and, and again you are using positive half. That means only half of the waveform you are utilizing. You are not utilizing the previous waveform. So here, in full wave rectifier, we will try to we will try to rectify the complete waveform. That means both positive half as well as negative half we will use here. So for that we are using two diodes and it is center type uh, transformer. In center type transformer, uh, this will be plus uh, actually this will be plus Vs and this will be also plus Vs. So we will have the two voltage levels here. So when you take a positive half, so uh, let us consider the waveform like this. In this waveform, when you take a positive half and this is negative half in this way. So during the positive half, during the positive half we have plus Vs here and this will be like minus and plus Vs. Uh, when you are using this one, we, this will be like uh, so minus here and plus Vs. So in this in this positive half, because of plus Vs, this diode will start conducting, but this is minus Vs here, so this diode will be in the off state. So when you see the equivalent circuit, so the equivalent circuit will be like this. So when you are applying AC input here, so this will be plus Vs you are applying. So diode start conducting, and the next and the other diode will be in the reverse bias condition. This will be open circuit. So when you see the waveform, when you see the current flow, the current flow will be from supply Vs to like this. The current flow will be like this. So we'll have the output voltage as V01. This is the output voltage we are going to get at the across RL load resistance. Now, when you see negative half, so when you see the negative half, so this is a waveform for first V01 output for positive half. So only positive half will get, negative half will be zero. Again, positive half will get, negative half will be zero. But when you see negative half, in negative half, this will be negative because in negative half, this will be minus and this will be plus. So in the center tap, this will be Vs, this will be minus Vs. So in the negative half, this diode will be in the off state and this diode will be in the on state. So when this diode is in the on state, it will start conducting. It will conduct and this is open circuit. This is totally open circuit and it will start conducting, we will go to, to the RL. So, in the negative half, you see the equivalent circuit. So, for diode D1 is off. Only diode D2 is forward bias, that is short circuit. So, current flow will be in the same, in this direction. So, when you see the current flow, both are in the same direction for RL. So, the voltage across RL will be same, uh, in the same polarity for both positive half as well as negative half. So, when you see the waveform for negative half, so, in a waveform for the negative half will be, so the negative part will flow in the positive direction because if you see the polarity, because it is negative polarity only, but with respect to the resistance, it is flowing in the same direction as of the positive half. Positive half is in the same direction, negative half also the current is in the same direction. So, voltage across resistance will be same. So, the voltage across resistance will be same. So, when you combine these two, so this is the for positive half, this is for negative half diode D1 is conducting, diode D2 is conducting. When you combine these two, this is the final output waveform. So here, so both positive half and negative half, all will become into positive halves only. So this is again, when you compare this DC voltage, this DC voltage is more than the half wave rectifier. So normally in half wave rectifier, we got V DC value as Vm by pi, that is in half wave rectifier. But here in full wave rectifier, we are having two total 0 to pi is positive again pi to 2 pi is also positive this will become DC voltage in the full wave rectifier is 2 Vm by pi as well as when you take I DC current is also same 2 Im by pi. So when you see the RMS value so here RMS value is equal to Vm by root 2 is the RMS value here also RMS I RMS is also equal to Vm by root 2. So we can solve the in the same way as we discussed earlier. Here also, I m by root two is the RMS value. Okay. 
and this is the these are the currents and voltages in half wave full wave rectified 